Type and routine test are a crucial part of any electrical equipment. It can be transformer, a circuit breaker or even instrument transformers. These tests are really important and in this video you will understand the very basics of what is type test and routine test and why they are important. We will not discuss about which tests are performed and how they are performed. Rather we are going to deep dive into the basics of it. Imagine I have designed a transformer which is capable of carrying normal current of 4000 ampere and is able to withstand the fault current up to 40 kilo ampere for 3 seconds. As a manufacturer I need to be 100% sure of that the transformer that I have designed is actually can carry these currents. And as a customer if I have want to buy this transformer then I need to have some proof that this transformer design is capable of carrying 40 kilo ampere for 3 seconds. So how can a manufacturer be 100% sure of this design and how a customer can have a proof of that? Well of course by performing some tests on the product design to validate its capabilities and quality. So can a manufacturer perform this test in his own test lab? Well of course he can but then what is the credibility of such test? I mean it is performed by the manufacturer. Uh, in his own lab by uh, his own test engineer. He might have tweaked few things or did something we don't know. So the credibility of such test is not there and hence to validate the product design few tests must be performed in a third party certified test labs only. Such test is called type test. Type tests are very much important as they help in validating the design of the product. Okay, I'm saying this transformer is capable of carrying 40 kilo ampere for 3 seconds, but what is the proof? In such case, tests performed at the third party certified labs offer this proof. This gives the confidence to the manufacturer and also to the customer about the product design. ERDA, Electrical Research and Development Association, then CPRI, Central Power Research Institute are some example of certified test labs here in India, where you can perform type tests. Now let's say while conducting a test on this transformer the design has failed the test. In such case I can make required changes in the product and redo the test. Once the product pass the test then I can follow this type tested design for the bulk production. Now imagine if I had produced transformer as per the prototype 1 then I would have been in trouble because the prototype 1 is not capable of carrying 40 kilo ampere for 3 seconds. And hence type testing is very important. Once you conduct the type test on the product you can be sure about the design and now you can produce the transformer in bulk as per the type tested design which is in this case is prototype 2. Once these tests are performed the test labs will provide a dedicated report for the test performed and submit it to the manufacturer. Now the manufacturer uses this reports as a proof of validation of the design. Now in order to avoid confusions on how to perform the test different standards like IEC, ANSI, IEEE etc have defined the standard procedure to perform such test. For example there is a procedure defined on how to perform a short circuit test. Plus these standards also specify the criteria for passing the test. If that criteria is met then only the product is said to pass the type test. And this result will be mentioned on the test report as well. And this report can be then presented to customer for his validation. Type tests are not performed on all the products that are manufactured. It is only performed on a new design or on a design in which major modifications are done. It is also not possible to perform such tests on all the products that are manufactured because these tests cost huge money. And some tests are destructive in nature meaning during the test the product will be damaged and cannot be used later on. So performing such test on each product uh, is not possible. And type testing is not only 2-3 tests. They are, there are series of tests that is defined by the different standard and which needs to be performed in order to prove the design of the product. So when type tests are performed. one. If a new design of the product is developed it must be validated and type tests are required in such case. Or two in the existing design you made a major modification for example you changed the insulation medium from oil to SF6 it's a major modification so type test must be performed. Or the third scenario is if the type test validity has expired. So every product will come with a certain years of type test validity like 5 years and 10 years which is defined by the different 
uh, regulation bodies and our customers. For example, you have performed type test on your product in 2025 and the type test validity as per the guidelines is for five years. Then you need to redo the type test even if you haven't changed anything in the product after five years. So these are the three scenarios where you need to perform the type test. Just to give you an example here for a circuit breaker, these are some of the tests which is defined by the standards type test. So dielectric test. Now this is these tests are carried out to check the insulating properties of the equipment, dielectric properties of the equipment. This will include the power frequency which standards test lightning impulse and switching impulse. Then we also have temperature rise test. Now it checks whether the temperature of the product is going to a very high value or what in our general operating conditions. Then we have mechanical operations test which will test uh, if, if there is any wear and tear that is happening during the mechanical operations that we are performing. Then we have short circuit current making and breaking test where in which the circuit breaker will be tested whether the rated short circuit current it can carry for the defined period of the time or not or also it can break that current or not that all the things will be checked under this type test. So these are some of the examples of type tests. So like for all the equipments, every standard have defined some set of type tests and those type tests needs to be performed in order to prove the capabilities of the product, the quality of the product. Now, once these reports are performed, the lab in which you perform the test, they will per, uh, give you a report. Now that report will have all the details like which test is performed, how it is performed, as per which standard it is performed and what is the result of that particular test. Whether the equipment passed the test or failed the test, every detail will be mentioned on the type test report that will be provided by the test lab. So that is about the type test. Now coming to routine test. As the name suggests, they are performed on each product that is manufactured in the routine manufacturing. These tests are not meant to validate the product design. The aim of routine test is to check manufacturing quality of the product. These tests are not destructive in nature. Again, different standards have defined the procedure that needs to be followed while performing the routine test as well. Once all the routine tests are performed, manufacturer can also issue a routine test report to customer for his validation. Many times customer can also witness the routine tests. Again, continuing with our example of circuit breaker, here are some of the routine tests defined by the standards. So again, we have here dielectric test, which will be performed as a routine test as well and as a type test as well. Then you can see measurement of resistance of the main circuit. So the resistance will be measured for the main circuit. Then we also have design and visual checks part of routine test again and the mechanical operation test again few operations will be performed and the quality of the product will be checked and then if the breaker is SF6 gas field then the leakage test will also be conducted on that circuit breaker right. So these are some of the examples of the routine test which are defined by the different standards right understood so that is all about the basics of what is type test and what is routine test and why they are necessary. If you found the video helpful, then do comment helpful in the comment section. In that way, I'll get to know that this type of content is helping you. And if you are interested to learn more about Switchgear, then I have dedicated playlist created for Switchgear. I'll give link for those playlists down in the description. You can go and check it out for more such information. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.